Hey, this is Zooke from Angel Spit, and you are on Vampire Freaks. You are a vampire freak. Rock. Your parents will hate it, your neighbors will hate you for playing it, and you'll really make lots of bizarre friends. We're trying to mix metal, cyberpunk, industrial, grunge, indie, all that sort of thing. We want to do something new. More importantly, we want to do something for ourselves, and we're just very fortunate that a lot of people like what we're doing. So, that's a definite advantage. Artists like J.P. Whitkin, who photographs dead people, and he portrays them to look like beautiful objects in still life. French performance artist named Orlan, who actually uh, undergoes plastic surgery as a part of her performance art. She goes under the knife in the name of beauty. Um, and what she does is really, really fascinating. She comes out bloodied and bruised, as you do after plastic surgery. And that's all a part of her art, transforming her into the ideal beauty. You should check her out, all in. She has temple implants, just like the Mona Lisa. But the Mona Lisa is actually Leonardo da Vinci in drag. Matthew Barney is also a really big influence. I think he's in New York. Uh, artist and he does uh, gigantic visual art videos, movies. He did a, a set called The Cream Master Cycle. His new bizarre, fantastic, brilliant visual artwork is called Drawing Restraint and it features Bjork. David LaChapelle, because he rocks. Eh. Australian photographer Bill Henson is also a really big influence. He takes darkness and light and makes images dance in shadows of beautiful color. Mm. Luckily, we've got a bunch of gigs set up in Australia. By the time this goes to air, there'll hopefully be another two, but we'll see what happens with that. We played uh, the US briefly down the East Coast with the Cruise Shadows in Area, and that rocked. And then we did uh, Europe again. Some gigs with Area and Ego Likeness, other gigs with Funkavot and some other bands. And we played a few festivals with everyone, and it rocked. Uh, we just really want to get back to the U.S. because the U.S. rocks. Some of the songs are really pop, like they're candy-covered razors that when you swallow them, they cut you up and kill you slowly. <laughs> and other ones are just um, like industrial metal. We've been experimenting with our voices a lot. We're singing, gasp, and yelling and screaming and hurling abuse at people doing what we do best. So the objective of the exercise is to mix shitloads of things together and make them thump like hell. We've gone absolutely insane with our modular synth. Um, oh my god, we've just cut stuff up and made the fattest bleeps we could possibly make. We've also smashed several pieces of metal furniture, all in the name of industrial percussion. So there's lots of clangs, lots of fat bleeps, and big guitars, big thank you to George Bicos uh, from Embers of a Dying Flame and Crew Shadows. Uh, he helped us out with guitars on this and they're mammoth. He's a god. Arr. This time around, we're trying to do something real different. Destroy X with a really cool friend named Claire Beaton. I uh, did a lot of work on the uh, fashion that we used in this photo shoot. What we've done is we've tried to make the most beautiful photos we could possibly make and she's destroying them. She's scratching out the eyeballs, she's spraying over them, she's ripping them up, poking holes in them, um, blotting them, burning them, just fucking them up. A really big thing we're questioning here is beauty and what the definition of beauty is and the way that beauty enslaves us. So the objective with the Blipfert is uh, for us to give out tips and tricks and the little we know about making music and making art and all that sort of thing, we want to give it out to people for free uh, and help people make their own music. On our forum at the moment, we've got a bunch of people who are really, really creative and they're making clothes and making music and making videos and making music and cool shit everywhere. Uh, they're always asking questions and we just thought we'd help out and tell people what we know or what we don't know or something. 
One thing we're really enjoying playing around with at the moment are stencils. We have heaps of stencils on our site. They're all free for download. You just print them out, cut them out, sit them over a t-shirt and spray over it and you got your own Angel Spit t-shirt. So that's something really fun that we're encouraging people to get into. You don't need money or PayPal or credit cards or anything to look good or make art or have fun. Um, you just need time, effort and energy and some spray paint. And anyway, we've got heaps of stencils on our website, so go wreak havoc. With a bit of luck, we're hoping to get this album out on June this year, 2008. So we're aiming for June. The ha We haven't absolutely uh, decided on a title for it yet. We're still writing the songs. Uh, so hopefully we'll have all that together shortly. <laughs> Vampire Freaks is a really awesome online community where we can all just hang out and be ourselves or not be ourselves and um, support it. Tell your friends about it. Get people online. Um, it's a really awesome opportunity for people to come together, learn about new bands, promote their own band, make photos, make image, make party, make craziness. Yeah.